Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dustin over here with Crypto Miner Tips and in today's tip, we're gonna build a mining rig with this bad dog right here, the 3090. All right, so welcome back to Crypto Miner Tips. Like I said, in today's tip, we're gonna be talking about building a mining rig with the new NVIDIA 3090. Uh, this card is a beast. If you can see how massive this thing is in comparison with my forearm, it's about two inches thick. This thing is beefy and it is a power hog from what I've read. Anyways, rumor has it that you can get about 100 to 125 mega hashes that are somewhere around 300 watts uh, at the wall from this. So I figured why the heck not? Let's get a few of these. Let's get them on a rig and test them out. So. I was actually able to locate these on Facebook Marketplace for right around about $1,600 each. By the way, I just shot a recent video on how you guys can find good deals on Facebook Marketplace for these style of cards. So make sure that you check that out. I have a link down in the description or somewhere in this video so that you can check that out. But anyways, uh, you know, back in 2017, uh, a lot of people weren't buying the 1080 Ti's because they were too expensive, but they were in stock. So I bought three rigs of them uh, and they've worked out well for me. I've ROI'd on them. So I figured why not get a couple of these in my hand? I know they're a bit pricey, but you know, I'm banking on the fact that I'm going to be able to get my money back out of these cards. So it is a bit of a risky investment, but anyways, you know, when I seen the size and the specs in this card, I just, I had to have it. So nonetheless, we're going to actually be building a two card. I got two of these. So we're going to be building a two card rig uh, for this. Uh, from what I can see that, you know, there's some power supply issues because it does require two VGA cords for each one eight pin. So, you know, we're just super excited to see how we're gonna, you know, how these are gonna run. And then we also got a kilowatt right here so that we could check the wattage. With that said, I'm gonna be gonna slap these on a frame real quick, put in a power supply, pretty much build the rig. And uh, we're gonna load this up on Hive OS with Phoenix Miner and see exactly what we can get. All right, so we're gonna kick this rig off right. I got a 1200 watt Corsair AXI power supply, and I got a Asus Z270 series Prime A motherboard uh, with a Celeron CPU and eight gigs of RAM. So we're just gonna hurry up, get this installed, and get all the cables hooked up, and uh, hurry up and fire up the GPUs. the risers I'm gonna use separate 15 pin SATA cables one for each riser just for good measure all right now we got this sucker all built we got the power supply in motherboard hooked up Everything's powered, the risers, separate VGA cables for each eight pin uh, cable coming off the GPU. And we did a separate 15 pin SATA cable for the SSD just for good measure. So everything's hooked up. Let's go ahead and let's get her powered on. See what she does. Let's make her break time. Hive OS. Usually takes a few minutes to run the commands on the first boot up. There it is. Boom. And it only found one GPU. So right now we're already having an issue. It's got one. 
3090 hooked up so far. So we're gonna have to do some working around to get this thing to fire up correctly. Okay, so we ran into a little setback issue. Um, both the cards, they weren't really posting and you can see right here, uh, we have them not, they're using, you get this Airco Rev A1, right? So based on what I was told, you gotta update the drivers on this. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're just getting the drivers updated. So if you uh, have these cards, you're running into that issue and you're on HiveOS, you may wanna look into, uh, you know, getting the drivers up, uh, to the most up-to-date ones. All right, so now we officially got the drivers installed. The cards are posting and I should be able to refresh this screen. And voila, now it's time to overclock the cards. All right, so there you have it. We finally got it tuned up and tuned in. Right now it's currently hashing both cards at somewhere around 117 and the other one's 112. So there might be some silicon lottery going on there, who knows. And we are pulling 640 watts from the wall. So take it for what it's worth, divide it by two, because we have two on there and that should give you your power consumption. Anyways, if you guys uh, have any issues, if you buy these cards and you're running them on Hive, you will have to update the drivers to get them to work. It did take me about 20 minutes to get the drivers updated, but there you have it. There's the overclock settings for it. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the, uh, the results from this. I'm gonna run a test for another 24 hours and see how it goes. So that's it for tonight, folks. That's the uh, 3090 build. I will be shooting some more videos about this throughout the week. So make sure that you guys be on the lookout for that. Again, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit the not notification bell so that you get notifications of any new videos that come out. And as always, there's gonna be a link in the description. Make sure that you join our private Facebook group and check out our, our, our main website at CryptoMinerTips.com. Anyways, guys, I'm out. See you guys, have a good evening. Thank you for watching, later.